it's kind of turning me on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask, first of all, why did you decide to do Dancing with the Stars? Lacey and I totally appreciate it. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have a love-hate with the public oh, eye. So I think you. that I just don't, I mean, I, I kind of, I look at myself as a normal guy who does this kind of stuff as a job. And so there's a, for me, a really big separation. And I think just growing up in this town and in this business, I have a really, you know, clear perspective of what reality is and what all the other stuff is. And um, so, it, you know, doing this, I thought it would be fun. And I thought it would be a way to challenge myself physically with my body now that I feel comfortable in it. And I thought that it would also be a really great way to kind of reach many more people than I've been able to reach in the past. Now, we've all been keeping uh, aware of the controversy that's been going on. Right. Imagine, I imagine you would have thought there would have been some kind of reaction like that. But did you think it would ever get to the point where it is now where apparently you have to have security 24-7 and things like that? Uh, well, I don't have security 24-7. But I, 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 um, I didn't think it would get quite like this. No, I, exactly what you thought. You said I thought that there would be some people who had a problem with it, and they would voice it, and then it would, and that would be that. And I didn't realize that it would. I, I don't think I thought that the hate would be so bad, and then, and then that it would rally so much support, which is what's really been amazing to me. We will not be able to watch the show with uh, Chaz on there. This is going to be very confusing for children and it should not be included in their cast. This is the new group that's being discriminated against and we have to learn tolerance and I think it's a great opportunity to teach kids about people that are dealing with this issue. What do you say to people who, who, who argue that your presence on this show is bad for children? Because a lot of children watch. Right. I mean, I, I, I just don't see that at all. I mean, first of all, you know, there are a lot of kids out there suffering from, you know, with gender dysphoria. And I know that if, if there was somebody on TV when I was a kid like me, it would have saved me years and years of difficulty. Um, and obviously, you know, me dancing is not going to sway anybody who's comfortable in their body to change their sex. It's, it's, it's absurd. And I think it also opens up a possibility for, you know, open-minded parents to have a conversation with their kids about tolerance and diversity and and you know can make take it take it as a great uh, learning experience for their children. Now, you know one of the, the good things I think about this season of Dancing with the Stars is, uh, unless I'm not completely informed, there mm -hmm. isn't like a professional dancer. You know how in the yeah. past there's always somebody oh. who who's a trained dancer like a Nicole yes. Scherzinger or Maya. Yeah. Uh huh. So it's. I think it's pretty even. Who do you think is your toughest competition? Like, who do you think can make it to the top two or three? Um, it's still a little early to tell, but I mean, I think there's some really good, you know, good dancers. But yeah, I totally agree with you, and I'm really happy about that because in the seasons where there's like a trained dancer or like figure skater or something, it, I get so frustrated. And this is a pretty evenly matched. I mean, I think that. China is a really is doing really well. Jr. Um, David. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of people, and then there's a lot of people who are I think have a lot of um, you know a lot of potential as well, like Rob and Kristen. And so I, it's gonna. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna sort out. I'm I'm kind of trying to take it a week at a time and just do the best I can because I really want to stay in this competition as long as possible. So you're in it to win it. I, I am in it to win it, but what? That's right. <laughs> but, that's the but, attitude we need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. You keep telling him. He needs what, to be a little what, bit more confident. What if uh, Chaz's biggest? Uh, well, you can come back in for a hot second. What? 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 Uh, what's been um, the most difficult thing for Chaz in, in, in this whole process of like doing Dancing with the Stars and learning how to dance? Well, Chaz is pretty shy, so getting out in front of millions of people and shaking his hips is not the first thing that he would ever want to do. But, you know, every time that, you know, we go into rehearsal, we go into it with a positive attitude and, you know, not listen to the haters. It's unnecessary at this point, and he's having a blast, and I think people need to let him have a good time. Will you be dancing to any Cher songs this season? No, I won't be dancing to any Cher songs this season. Um, so <laughs> Why not? 
<laughs> you know, it's just not not exactly my s style. You don't like but, your mom's music? You know, I think for that, for what kind of music she does, it's really it's really good music. I'm just not like a big pop person. You, you basically just say you don't like your mom's music without... No, no, I didn't say that. I don't like that genre of music, but for that genre, I think she does a really good job. What, what, what do you want to do next after Dancing with the Stars and this great platform to have more exposure? Um, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, my, like, my dream would be to do more performing stuff and, and acting and stuff like that, but I don't know that any, anybody's ever going to let me do that. Um, you know, but that's what I originally started. I mean, I went to performing arts high school. I was a drama major, and I couldn't play women, and that really stopped me. But, um, you know, I'll keep speaking and writing books and, and doing activism and all that kind of stuff. Or what about a reality show? Is that of interest to you? Sure, absolutely. And we did, we, we just, actually, I you thought did, we were... did a finished. documentary. Yeah, we did the documentary, and we're, we shot a follow-up special for OWN that is, you know, almost done now. And if that, you know, turns into something, that would be great. I would love to do that. Being on Oprah's network is pretty cool. <laughs> well, what about absolutely. music? Have you not wanted to? Did you ever want to pursue pursue that as well? Um, you know, that was my first career, and I put out an album in '93, and um, as, it was as yourself as back then. You know, it was the it was called ceremony, and you you can get it on. You know, you can pull up the video on YouTube. It's still there. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, show it right now. <laughs> been dating your girlfriend for how long now? Six years. Six years. Uh, yeah. Has she put any pressure on you to, you know, get married? <laughs> you know, we're, we've been engaged for two years and we're pretty comfortable where we're at right now. So not too much pressure, no. But what about having kids? Is that something that you want to do? No, we don't. We both we both are not really kid people. We've got a lot of animals. Those are our kids, and and we're happy with that right now. And now uh, your mom has been pretty supportive as well of Dancing with the Stars. Uh, she's been, yeah, she's been so great. I mean, so supportive and tweeting and and also like sending her physical therapist over to work on me and stuff like that. So I I she's been amazing. It, seems like it took a while for your mom to just even become comfortable with this decision that you wanted that you wanted to transgen become you know transition and uh, you know did you have to really work at it with her or did you just kind of give her space and she just came around to you what was that process like yeah I did I mean I ta obviously I talked to her over the years as I was deciding to do it and then um, about six months before I started my transition, we had a really serious talk about it. And she was actually really positive at that point. And then I think as the reality hit her, it just really hit her hard, which is, you know, understandable. This is a hard thing for, for parents to accept. And I'm sorry, Lacey just showed me a, a drawing that she did of a big, giant rod, <laughs> I would say. Um, so, uh... And so, yeah, when I started going through it and my voice changed, it really hit her and she needed some space and I gave it to her. And that's kind of, you know, been my approach is it's, it's, um, you know, it's her journey to acceptance and that's one that she really needs to take on her own. And I've just given her the space to do that. Well, that's good. Well, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you for taking time from rehearsals. I know you're very busy. I appreciate it. I wish it's you a lot of luck. Pleasure. Thank you. And again, thank you so much for your support. We are, we need it. So thank you so much. Well, good. Just work hard and, and you'll do well. Okay. You got it. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.